where you're from? Estonia. Estonia? Like, yeah. where is that? It's in Eastern Northern Europe. Like, is it next to... Um, is it next to, like, uh... Is it next to Ukraine? Not really, it's, uh, it's Romania? in North, next to Finland. Oh, maybe. Finland, oh, okay. Yeah. I always yeah. forget about Estonia, no offense. What language do they speak there? Estonian. Estonian? I didn't mm -hmm. know there was a language for it. Interesting. We have a language for it. Interesting. I'm from the United States. I live 15 minutes west of Boston. West of Boston, it should be in the East Coast, right? Yeah, no northern part of the oh. East Coast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yay. Have you ever so been to some. the United States? Unfortunately not. Ah, I wish I it's could. the best country in the world. Is it? <laughs> not the not the best, but one of the best. <laughs> but um, uh, what other I'd languages? I'd say the same about Estonia. <laughs> <laughs> what other languages do you speak? Well, um, here we tend to speak many languages. So I do speak Estonian, English, uh, Russian. Uh, I did. Russian, da, yeah. Da. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did learn French in school and yeah. I lived in Spain for some time. So oh, I hablas Spain. español? Un poco, yeah. Uh, ¿Cómo estás, bonita? <laughs> ah, bien, todo bien. ¿Vala portugués? I, unfortunately, not. Oh. But Portuguese about, is beautiful. How about um, Guten Tag? Oh, I did learn Ger German as well. I know uh, some German. I can read a decent amount of German. I can read the text in German and then just combine something and then I would understand what they're saying, but I can't speak it. Yeah, yeah. Like speaking is hard for me for German. Yeah, absolutely. But so. it's interesting. Nice, nice. So how's your mm -hmm. day? Sorry? How's your day? Did you do anything fun today? Uh, did I did... I did some cleaning, so oh, that was fun. Wow, that's nice and fun. Yeah, and then I ate dinner, and that is it. Wow. It is the last day of my vacation, so. Oh, vacation? <laughs> yeah. Is it vacation because you, uh, vacation for work or for, for From work, college? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. I and, just uh, discovered a couple of days ago that I have about uh, 50 days of vacation left that are paid. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, wow. so I can use them all this year. 50? <laughs> yeah, they, 50. they don't have that in the United States. Here they work. Yeah. You have to work so many. It's like for full time here, it's 40 hours a week. How many is Oh, how many hours a week is there for full time? It's 40. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's 40 yeah. uh, here but as like, well. But for vacation time, you never get that many at all. Is like, that for real? Well, I mean... Vacation, I mean, you, vacation yeah. time, you get like two weeks in the whole year. Uh, okay. Okay. I say I, we have four weeks. Yeah, that's great. Paid leave. So that's, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Also... Um, where I work, we have uh, like we sometimes have to go in on Sundays, mm. so for that we get uh, another paid uh, day as well, like free day. That's awesome. So that's also nice. So I get like about two weeks plus the vacation every year. All to a different state. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So like so here, the... here in the United States, there it's very. It's not very, but like a lot of laws in general are different state to state. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, uh, so like Alabama has yeah. like, um, like you're able to get guns easily and stuff like that versus mm -hmm. in Massachusetts, it's very difficult to get gun, like to get guns or whatever. So, oh, it's, well, I guess you do have to have a license for that. Well, uh, like in Alabama, it's like you're able to sometimes get it like certain guns without a license and stuff like that. Oh, for real? Yeah, even even like being a minor and stuff like that. What? It's yeah, yeah. It's bad. are you for real? Yeah. I mean, 
versus <laughs> Massachusetts, it's really strict and difficult to get it. And then there's like certain guns you can't have, etc. And then you so can I think only it, have a certain amount of ammo and stuff like that. That's how it should be, I guess. I agree. I agree. Because <laughs> uh, giving they, guns to minors. Yeah. Do they have any Sounds guns bad. there in uh, Estonia? I'm assuming no, right? Well, we do have guns, but it is not as like meaning popular. citizens. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course, some do, but oh, okay. um, there are definitely restrictions how you can get them. You can't go to a store that yeah. just sells them to everyone. You have to have the license and then you have to have a uh, safe where you put it mm-hmm. uh, and stuff like this. I am not exactly sure. You have to... It's it's pretty difficult course as far as I understood yeah. uh, to get a to get the license and the reason why you should even have a gun, and it's it's rather difficult. Yeah. Yeah. In in the southern states like Florida and Texas, etc., you can go yeah. to Walmart. Like the WalMarts there have like a gun section that you can buy guns. Oh my gosh! Isn't that weird? It's really weird yeah, <laughs> because yeah. I haven't seen anything like this, but I can yeah. believe you. It. Yeah, Just that, that's insane. the United States. Yeah, they don't have that up here. Like Massachusetts is one, is one of the strictest states. Like they don't even sell alcohol in the Walmarts here uh, in really? Massachusetts. Yeah. Do you um, have like special stores where you can buy alcohol? Uh, most pla- most places you can buy alcohol. It's just like Walmart and certain stores that oh, you, you oh, can typically okay. buy it in other states. You can't buy it here. But here, um, before the pandemic, um, mm-hmm. drink like alcoholic drinks. You can only buy it uh, at the liquor store. They close yeah. selling drinks at eleven p.m. Like at any place. Oh, it's place. here 10 p.m. Yeah, and but um, the only places you can get alcohol after then is like bars or clubs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which that same. latest is uh, 1 p.m. Yeah, you mean I, a.m. I mean, 1, 1 a.m., that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So clubs and bars until 1 a.m.? Yeah. And liquor, wow. And liquor stores and anywhere else is uh, um, 11 p.m. Wow. Um, but in other states, it's different. So like Florida yeah. and like a number of other places, you can get it literally whenever you want. Okay, because here they sell um, alcohol in the store until uh, 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. And after that, again, clubs and bars. Mm-hmm. But uh, there is no time limit um, just until the bars or clubs are opened. Okay. So you can stay there. If if the club is opened, I don't know, 24-7, then you mm. can get the alcohol there 24-7. Nice. So it depends how long it is opened. Yeah. Well, that's good that it sounds like your country is safe and civil. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. It that's is. Good. It is very... Because I know that Finland, Sweden, and those countries are mm-hmm. safe and, and good. So I would it's, assume. Yeah, it's just a little bit behind uh, yeah. of those countries. We we are not as advanced as. as good, yeah. Is it kind of like De- is it kind of like Denmark, like just one step um, behind? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't compared myself to Denmark, but yeah. but well, at least well, it is a Soviet Union country. Well, it was a Soviet yeah, Union country. Yeah. So we we are still behind our um, I don't know um, we are well, not as advanced. You're not as... as behind as the other European countries, like yeah. The Yugoslavian countries and like it is uh, really different. Like that. From so that. you're lucky, yeah. Yeah. So we have this. Um, uh, I haven't sp- spoken English yeah. for some time. <laughs> I have yeah. to remember what. But, um, you know, IT stuff and uh, how to get stuff done over the internet. Yeah. Uh, it is very advanced here. So you can pretty much get everything done. You can get your um, documents and everything done uh, via the internet. Mm. So you don't have to go somewhere and you know give the signatures in this place but you can just um give the signatures and everything um 
from your home. So mm. that's that's really, really cool. And we are more advanced than our neighbor countries, for example, Latvia, Lithuania, uh, Ukraine. So UK, Ukraine is crazy, I heard. <laughs> Uh, perhaps it is unfortunately haven't ha haven't been there yeah. i wish i could go there uh, yeah. at some point but as far as i know it's crazy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i noticed that i don't know if you notice this but russia is very same but different from the united states so like uh huh. with with the guns they're very yeah. similar you know what i mean there's lots of gun violence and lots of guns in Russia and the United States. There's a lot of gangs, a lot of uh, a lot of drugs and drug problem in both countries. Yeah. Well, well, maybe that's a problem that every big country has. Well, for for the it depends. Like it's yeah. different because I'm referring to first world countries. He, like yeah, yeah. For yeah, first yeah, world countries, they're very similar. Mm hmm. Um. And then also how a lot of Russians are very proud to be Russian and same with Americans. A lot of Americans yeah. are proud to be American <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, just that our media covers only basically the gun violence uh, stories and, and news uh, in the U.S. Yeah. What's happening in Russia, I don't even know that specifically. But Yeah. But I guess that's true as well. I, yeah, I just haven't heard uh, much about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for, for Russia, they don't really have mass shootings. It's mainly like street yeah. and gang violence here. Yeah, yeah. Like here. Of course, they're crazy as well. I mean, he, here <laughs> there's mass shootings and a lot of street and gang violence. Uh huh. It's all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got that covered. <laughs> yeah. But the United States is very different, like town by town, state by state, all of throughout course. the United States. Like a different state can seem like a different country here in the United States. It's weird. It is. It's it's just that it's so uh, big. Some, and so it different. is so big, and and people um, tend to put in one place all these people that that maybe live in the southern states, and they have yeah. different rules, and they have different maybe traditions as like mass shootings <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but yeah but they are considering them as the same people who live in the north mm -hmm. perhaps so it's uh, just the americans are crazy as they say maybe yeah. but but there's, these are very different people who who does those things there's so many fat people here in the united <laughs> states it's like yep. crazy have you you've never been to the united states right did i ask that question before oh, yeah you, never, you did yeah. but i haven't oh, was, yeah yeah um like i've been to seven other countries and mm -hmm. like whenever when i've gone to those places or whatever i've never seen a fat person or if i did actually they would be mm -hmm. american tourists you know what i mean so so just, okay what's size of a person you consider as as fat i mean like um, i'm sure that other countries have like bigger people as well but but yeah i mean the it's, american it's big person is yeah. a different so, size so, of person <laughs> so here in the u.s a lot of people call people that are chubby yeah uh in other countries would be considered fat Okay. Okay. So you have like different understandings. What, so meaning, what meaning, meaning, chubby typically is supposed to seem like a lot less fat than a fat person. You know what I mean? Like yeah. But in other countries, they see chubby people as fat. Meaning, meaning here in mm -hmm. the U United States, they somehow don't understand how extremely fat people are here. There's a lot of people here that have diabetes type 2 because of being fat. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's yeah. how you how you get it. But um yeah. Crazy, I just th that's that's pretty insane. I've seen it like on TV that you do have big people a there. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of big people there. But a lot of Americans either don't want to accept like 
they don't notice that there's so many fat people here or mm-hmm. they forget about it it's like one or i the guess other. they forget about it because you you just so see it, it every single day mm-hmm. and you just get used to it mm-hmm. i guess that's that and yeah i mean but also i have to say that i haven't been there so i don't know but you do have so many fast food restaurants and so and stuff like this so everywhere. yeah so and so many food. different kinds of uh, fast foods yeah. like i mean of course classic burgers and stuff mm-hmm. but also all kinds of different other uh, fast yeah. food places uh, here i can talk about my country only and maybe yeah finland and sweden mm-hmm. we do cook a lot at our at our homes yeah so so that's what i also do okay yeah i do cook at idea. home the, because yeah it's that's not so it available be as it is for for you there uh-huh. because yeah of course we do have mcdonald's and burger king and stuff like this hmm. and kfc is a new place oh, we have yeah <laughs> so we just recently got KFC. Oh wow! Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, and Burger and Burger King is a new yeah. one as well. <laughs> really? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, is it? We only had. We do not have Starbucks. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> because I do like coffee, uh, yeah. but but it's crazy expensive. Really? So maybe yeah. it's maybe it's good. We don't have it, and. Yeah. <laughs> and well of course we do have mcdonald's and that's mm-hmm. about it okay yeah also on top of it of that's one reason why people are fat here but yeah. also because a lot of people don't exercise here oh and, definitely yeah and then another huge reason i think this is honestly the biggest reason is the portions of food people eat here is a lot bigger than other countries you like, know i do watch this uh, tv show it's don't judge me, please. It's uh, I, I called uh, it's called Ninety Day Fiance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that show. I love it. Yeah. So uh, I just see there a lot of people who go to the U.S. and they see the sizes of the portions that they receive it at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. They are just simply shocked. Like, mm-hmm. wow, it's like two people portion in my country. And yeah. they come from Europe, and I can't imagine how big they are then. Uh-huh. It's yeah. just insane. People eat so much here. So much. And it's I crazy, because when I've traveled to other countries, yeah. like me or others I would be with, like we would be eating like triple the amount other people around us would be eating, you know? Oh, is that so? Yeah. Because yeah, whenever I order here some food or whatever, mm-hmm. I'm just full in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I haven't finished the I can't finish one. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's just for me it's it's insane. How much can you people eat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, it's, it's but crazy. it's cool. It's it's just the the way you guys are there. <laughs> What's uh? Is there any bad things about your country? Any bad stuff? Good question. Yeah. Well, um. Are there enough we jobs have, there? We do have. Uh, it, well, after the pandemic, we uh, we are struggling with the jobs. Yeah. But before the pandemic. But before it was pretty decent as okay. far as I remember. Um, it was, yeah, luckily I just uh, switched jobs uh, before the pandemic. Yeah. So um, if I would have stayed where I used to work, mm-hmm. I have no clue what I have not, what I would do because um, they cut the work hours working hours so that was pretty bad as i heard so luckily i just switched over to logistics for grocery stores so i was pretty safe (laughs) yeah and uh, and i didn't have to struggle with uh, with that at all Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, but but in general, it it went very bad um, work wise. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but um, we do have a lot of uh, racism here. Ooh, yeah. So, but and that's... like, who who are they racist towards? Uh, towards um, LGBTQ. Uh, I don't know what's the what. Yeah, what are they, the they di- letters they dis- there? They discriminate against them. Yeah. Yeah. Of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because they are now trying to get more rights. Um, uh, to get more right. Also, they want to marry now. So yeah. that there was supposed to be um, like voting Mm -hmm. um that if the people would support this or not i don't know what's the status with that uh Mm -hmm. at the moment because is it happening or not i'm not sure Mm -hmm. and then uh, lots of racism towards uh black people yeah because we do have them here uh, plenty of them they yeah. are going to the university here. Mm-hmm. So um, I guess there are like thousands of them here already yeah. or, or hundreds or so. They are uh, working and they are very nice are people. They like, as much are as... they immigrants from like certain other countries or? Uh, they are usually from Africa. I mean, they okay. come from Nigeria, Do they come for to example. Study or are they refugees? Yeah, to study exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They are not immigrants, as uh, I mean, they are not um, like permanently staying. They're only yeah, there to exactly. Study. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they are just coming here on a study visa. So yeah. they just here to study and then the visa expires Mm -hmm. and then they go somewhere else or extend it or i don't know yeah so there is a problem with with them as well it's it's sometimes it's pretty pretty violent Mm, that's horrible Mm -hmm. but well also that's that that's happening everywhere yeah sadly it's yeah. like there's lots of discrimination everywhere to like different yeah. degrees. Like um my mom is from Venezuela and oh. like uh my mom's mom is from Argentina and my mom's mm-hmm. dad is from Chile. But in like all I'd say every Spanish speaking country, except I don't know much about uh Spain, but of yeah. all the other Spanish speaking countries, they're like very most of the people are very anti uh, LGBT, like mm-hmm, against yeah. an- LGBT. Um, so that's like where their discrimination is mainly towards. Yeah. Um, and then for here, the United States, it's like it all depends on what state you're from, what town, etc. Um, there's like discrimination of all different kinds of people. So like different races, different religions, different. Uh, like classes um meaning like wealth um and then yeah um lgbt just like everything but here uh i don't know if you ever see stuff in the news about it but um they make it seem a lot worse than it actually is here uh nowadays like there's not that much violence that happens with it okay Mm -hmm. uh very very little thankfully Back in the day, yeah. it used to be a lot worse, but nowadays it's like the past like twenty years. It's not that bad. It's not. It's actually not. Uh, I yeah. mean, but people make it seem like it's the worst. Like it's like, yeah, like it's yeah. getting only worse. But it's Ver- versus in like uh, the Spanish speaking countries and like the Arab countries and stuff like that. Yeah. They they would literally like murder or beat up or yeah. discriminate yeah. towards people. That's how who it goes. LGBT. There. Yeah, yeah, of course. And so. um, it's, I'm of course I do not support murdering and but yeah. but <laughs> it shouldn't be as a big deal as it is uh, at the yeah. moment. Like they are treated uh, so badly because that's not the case at the moment. I guess. Yeah, here they in the United States, normally. 
in the United States, they uh, LGBT, they have a lot of rights, which is good. They have like oh, they're they? they're able to marry. Oh. Uh, and and they like aren't discriminated against much at all. Mhm. Like the best countries that accept uh, LGBT are like the United States, Canada, uh, a lot of Western European countries. Yeah, they like, are. Pre- I guess they much, are ma- allowed much to marry. All those. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I guess we would be pretty much the first ones who would allow them to marry if we would accept this. Yeah. I mean, if the voting result would end up like this. Yeah. I noticed for the European countries that um have more discrimination towards other races and uh yeah. and um LGBT happen to be the smaller ones. So like your country, um Serbia, uh like any of those small countries uh, mm-hmm. I think it's because since they're just so focused on their n- like national like identity, they want to kind of keep it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so. and that's exactly the case. We are very yeah. protective in that sense uh, because yeah. we are small countries and we want to keep it um, how to do, how to say pure. Or, yeah. yeah, you know, we do not want to let any outsiders in. Yeah. And also, um, we do have a lot of Russians here. And there is a lot of hate towards uh, them as well. Yeah. So that's uh, that's another thing. Um, yeah, we, we do have lots of um, enemies. <laughs> yeah. To fight against. <laughs> yeah yeah (laughs) but uh we can make it (laughs) yeah it's interesting yeah yeah and also you know uh, it's uh, it's kind of new for us i mean Mm. we we haven't had to uh, live with um, exactly it's uh, it's been in a close the closed country you know Mm. we haven't seen other races it's it's very new to us it's um i guess uh, other races um well mainly black people i would say um mm-hmm. have moved here during the last 10 years so mm-hmm. it's uh, it's very very, very new to us yeah and yeah, that's, uh, that's like my uh my cousin in chile was saying um mm-hmm. that before before like five years ago they like never had any black people uh there in yeah. chile mm-hmm. um, but then they just started having haitian like people from Haiti uh, yeah. come um, as refugees or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, like people aren't very accepting there. But also, actually, I just remembered um, there's, you know what uh, Chinatown is? Yeah, yeah. Like they have that in a lot of uh, countries. Um, so they have that in like Argentina, Chile, and certain other mm-hmm. Spanish speaking countries too. Um, but there in those countries, like nobody associates with the Chinese people. Like it's like uh, all the like Chileans and then they just like don't associate or hang out with the people from ch- the Chinatown there. Oh, is that so? And, so and that's no. the same with Argentina. It's mm. weird. Yeah. It is. It's just yeah. Yeah. Versus here in the United States, there's a Chinatown in I in almost every state, mm, mm-hmm. and like and also there's all obviously like Chinese and Asians and every uh, people of all kinds everywhere in every state. Yeah, so you have kind of, um, yeah, yeah, you have like lived our, together for some time, so you can for, get yeah, a long used time. to them pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But here you can say you do have some kind of expectations or or some sort of uh, frights uh, whenever you see a black person or or you are going to work with a black person or or whatever. Because yeah. I did I used to work in the same room I I guess with uh, twenty black guys mm-hmm. and 
for me personally, personally, it wasn't fun because, uh, yeah, they do come from a different culture and they yeah. do things very differently from yeah. me. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it's it's just uh, rather difficult to accept them just right, in a right. second. Like it's yeah. yeah. So yeah. I I do understand why things take time. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's I'm very. It's very different. I know what you mean because here in the United States, it's very different. Like a Hispanic person or Arab person or whatever that mm -hmm. grew up here in the United States versus someone who just arrived here. You yeah, know what I mean, very different culture. They come from different places, and uh, we need to adjust with them. Uh, they need to adjust with us, yeah. and it's it's just uh, we can't understand each other just just that yeah. easily yeah yeah but i hope we will come to this at one point that we can coexist without no yeah. problems mm -hmm. it's very oh. interesting yeah yeah <laughs> nice nice so yeah what's the time there it's uh three almost 3 p.m oh yeah and you 10 p.m Oh, wow. <laughs> it's late. Yeah, it's getting late. Yeah. But I did sleep for like 12 or 13 hours. So That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I thought that's... I have to like sleep before I get back to work because then there will be no sleep. So <laughs> yeah, that's I thought fair. I just should sleep before it gets crazy. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to go now because I have to call my mom. Oh, okay. Okay, she sure. She just called me. Yeah. All right. It was nice All to right. speak to you. It was. Yes. And see maybe you. we'll see you. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye now. Bye.